playhouse um we're in the bunker again in the noise um charging is going really well apparently uh, so today i want to power this monitor that i mounted last week plus i actually um let me just show you this i emptied this last week uh so um the bunker is a lot less humid this week. Apparently, um, well, I made the mistake of not emptying this and it ran full and then it ran over and then it ran out on the floor and well, then it just ran and ran and ran because it couldn't get rid of the humidity. So uh, today we're gonna empty this. <sighs> Rem remind me to, to, remind me to empty it. Humidity is at 78.5, so that is not too bad. Now, never mind. Um, I have this thing that we made, or I made, and you uh, you watched uh, a bit ago. We, I think we need some more lighting down here. There. And, and this, is, uh, this is to power a Lenovo thing. So my, uh, my little DC to DC converter here, which is a very affordable Chinese thing will make 20 volts to run a Lenovo machine. But this screen here that I mounted on the wall, oh yeah, you see it, uh, last time is also using 20 volts. So my idea for this video is more or less, we're just gonna test if the screen works or if I messed up and made a lot of stupid things in the bunker without testing it first, that could happen. Uh, so um, I was just making sure uh, these plugs here these you probably know them normally the outside is minus and the inside is plus and I'm kind of relying on that because uh, I tried to look at the monitor but it doesn't say I could have taken the power supply and measured that now that I think of it but I didn't, so that way we're gonna. Oh, that was brilliant. Some seed. Somebody has. Somebody has made a mess on the floor down here. I, I know who it is. So I am gonna. Oh, we could just plug this in, and I can show you that it lights up. If it lights up, I'll leave it. There, it shows the voltage going in, and if I press the button, it shows the voltage going out. So, um, can you see that? Ah, oh, sorry, you might have to come closer. So this is the DC to DC converter, and this is the input voltage from the battery, 13.8 volts, and the output voltage going out to the to the whatever. We're gonna be using. Um, we're gonna. We're gonna replace this connector and put the other one that I was just messing with uh, in there instead. This one, uh, and we should be able to power that monitor, and um, it should be able to do it very efficiently uh, because these things are quite efficient. We're just gonna remove the the wire that is already in there that I used to power the uh, Lenovo PC. That going out. Oh, I did that really well, didn't I? Come on out. Yeah, there it is. 
Yeah, I did that rather well. Um, made a good connection there. And on the on the PCB, there is a plus and a minus, so this is very easy. Um, I, um, I couldn't find my normal screwdriver, so I went looking and I found this one. This one has kind of a story to it because my mom has financed this one. Uh, she hasn't financed many of my tools, but this was a tool that I got when I was uh, starting my education. Uh, education is, is free here in Denmark, so the education itself was free, but there was an option to buy some school supplies, and as I am educated and electronic engineer, um, some of the tools was, was different stuff for doing electronics, and this one was one of the tools that I got. This wasn't a very expensive one, but it, it yeah, it brings back memories because normally I didn't I didn't get the good stuff, but for one of the very rare occasions, I got the whole package that the school offered of supplies. The second option was to go and purchase uh, other stuff, uh, similar stuff, just cheaper. But this is a well-known brand and it's made in Germany. And oh, it's a it's a Vera. Um, one of the more expensive screwdrivers and I still have a lot of the tools that uh, that I got from that because it was special to get all the good tools I've been very careful and not mess them too much I do see that I've bent this a little bit but it's still good from the good old days when money was tight so now I'm just gonna put the cable in there uh, we need to this is these are thin uh, let's see if we can we can make it good. We might need the length of this. I thought this cable was longer, but uh, it's, it's kind of short, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to get it. I was hoping that I could put the little PCB behind the monitor so it was out of the way, but the wire is not long enough for that, and I don't feel like putting a longer wire on it right now because I'm probably going to be redoing this. Okay, so this should be easy enough. If we lower this, I think the monitor is going to come up all by itself. Yeah, <laughs> automatic. Okay, so I did tighten it quite a bit, I guess. So let's see if we put that up. Here and put it down there. It's out of the way. And we put up like that. And put that back again. Yeah, we're gonna figure something else out here, but right now this will do. Um I just want to. S oh, we need we need to connect something to it as well. That's a good idea, Martin. I know we will do that. So let's okay. So that one goes in. I wonder where that goes. Oh, that goes in. Okay. So this one is the. Why is this warm? Let's put this in. We should have a HDMI connection. Oh crap, is this gonna be sticking out so that I can't put it up against the wall? I 
think I have a bended. I think I have a one that goes that way somewhere. Might need to find that. But until then, I think I'm gonna borrow the one that is on here. That is also an HGMI. It's more. There. Good enough for a bit of testing. I have the I have the board connected here, so I should be able to turn it on. And if it blows up, we will know. Twenty volts out. We have we have ignition. Do we get anything on the monitor? Does it find anything? Have we connected it to anything? I think. I think I might have disconnected it. I think we can connect it to the to the PC that is just below it. We might be able to get a get something on the screen if I can if I can pop it in the HDMI port, which is that one. Come on! It's alive. We have Proxmox. I did get a comment of why I wanted such a big screen down here and I must admit that even this text gets very small on this monitor even though it, it, it looks okay on the monitor it, uh, it just becomes very small and I have great difficulties reading it whereas uh, this is good, this is very good. This noise over here is not quite as good so right now we are well we're powering that one it's not doing anything right now but we are also powering this and it is it's uh, nice and toasty it's not uncomfortable but we can kind of see that it's it, uh, it has dropped a little bit in uh, in voltage uh, so now it's only doing 19.8 volts it is actually getting a bit warm on the back here so I might need a bigger one for this project, uh, but I have uh, I've set the. Come on, uh, I don't think we can see that very well, can we? Uh, I'm I'm looking at the output from the from the charge controller. So right now it's it's putting out like 60 60 watts, and the monitor is on here. So I want to see how much power the monitor actually uses. So if we if we turn off the monitor, okay. So the monitor is off. So now it's using like 22 watts. So the monitor uses quite a lot. We have this switch on. We have this PC powered, and we have this um, Proxmox machine running which were the one that we saw on the monitor. So uh, the monitor uses twice the amount of power than all of that stuff uses. So it's it's a bit expensive to run, I guess. Oh, <laughs> now I don't have to yell anymore. The monitor is a bit expensive uh, to run in power. So we can, we can just try and turn it on again. Turn it on here, there. And we should see the power usage going up. We do, it fluctuates quite a bit. There, we're up to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it 60 watts. And over here, we're back. So most definitely, turn off the monitor when you leave the bunker. It uses way too much power. I don't know if there's any power. We could check the menus here. Where do we have the menus? Menu, that's just the selection of the different connections. Uh, what is that one? Oh, that we have. Do we have any power thinkies? Can we save on power anywhere? PO, power, 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 power. Uh, extras, uh, 
exit. We can turn down the, the brightness, we can try that. And how do we get down? Oh, there. Um, there. And we can turn that down. I don't know how much it's gonna... Doesn't look like to... Have, oh, there it turns down a little bit, so let's try about 60. I can't really see the difference, so I'm not gonna... Gamma Overdrive Strong. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna look if there's any other good power features. And uh, if there is, I might also get rid of this sticker. It's not in an in an auto shop anymore. Never mind. Okay. Um, as I'm sitting here, I can see that I've turned down the brightness here, but I can also see over here that now it's it's using like 35 watts instead of 60 watts. So that little bit of turning down the brightness has saved me 25 watts. That is amazing. That's a very big saving. Uh, and it doesn't make that big of a difference. I don't know what it looks like when there's colors on here. Uh, I only have this prox box thing down here. And even if I change to the other one, that also has prox box. So uh, yeah, but now it's not as expensive to turn it on. And now the power uh, thingy here is also able to cope with it uh, and shows 20 volts and hasn't dropped in voltage. So that is kind of a, a really good saving to, uh, to save 25 watts. That means that this monitor is now only using like 15, maybe even less. I, I did turn it down. Uh, you saw me uh, set it to 60 in brightness. I turned it down to 30 and I don't think it made much difference on a black and white screen like this, but yeah, okay, maybe, maybe it's more like 37 watts, but it, it, it varies. So in another video, I played with this DC to DC converter that is inside that one. Um, and now we have been repowering this one and they are really efficient. Uh, and it's, it's quite impressive to be running a switch, two PCs, a monitor and this one is not running right now, it's just on. And it's, it's only using like, uh, at the moment it's I climbed up to 40, I don't know why, but apparently it uses a bit more power when the fan is blowing. So I think when the fan stops, it will go down to 35 again so I think yeah let's see the fan in the inverter is also counted as usage apparently I might go and look up my settings on my screens in my living room I saved over half the power of this monitor just by decreasing the brightness a bit We need to empty this so that I don't so I don't forget it. It's quite the amount of water that it has uh, taken in. Cool. So that's where I'm gonna end it. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Check your brightness and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.